thanks for visiting. Um, so this is reading for November and uh, as I always ask you, you know this, if you like this reading um, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe um, or leave a comment or everything, especially liking and commenting and all that kind of thing because the algorithm, I think it's still having its little retrograde moment, I don't know what it's doing with YouTube or whatever's happening but that would help me out a lot if you would do that. Um, and if you want to support this channel, um, there are ways you can do that in the description as well. Um, so that's all with that. I'm going to start with your reading right now. Okay, so yeah, right. So the first card here is the Two of Swords. But um, before I talk about that, I just want to talk about what's in the middle here. Um, you've got this beautiful, beautiful Empress right in the middle. And, and that's what's standing out to me. And, and she's the key card. She's right in the middle of this whole spread here. So um, I think with you as a Virgo, this is what I'm seeing in this Empress. Um, you've got this really, really beautiful open way about you. Um, you know, you're a really good listener. You talk to people, very easy to talk to. And I think a lot of people come to you with their problems. And you have this way of really sort of like it's like if, if a problem comes along you know what has to be done but also it's not just that you have this really nice way of connecting with people and and letting people open up to you and helping people and people see you as this kind of empress kind of a character because you know they, they see you as someone who can help them and so what I'm getting really really clearly here is I'm, I'm getting these words um, it, it's your time now this is for someone here I don't know who this is for it's your time now. It's time for you. It's time for you to nurture yourself like this empress. It's time to take care of yourself. So it feels like there might be some things that, um, you know, maybe you're neglecting. Uh, and, you know, there, you've got your own goals. You've got your own things you want to achieve. You've got all those things. But I think for some of you or for someone here, you're focused on other people's goals, helping them getting them out of problems, you know, helping them to feel better and talk to them and talk to, about their problems. You've got to deal with your own things. You've got goals you want to achieve. Start putting yourself first. Start thinking about yourself. It's your time now. That That's what I have to say to someone. Yeah, I'm getting health problems around someone as well. So someone literally, if this is you, you literally need to take care of yourself. You literally need to start putting yourself first eating properly, sleeping properly, um, doing all those things properly because it really feels like someone's very run down here and you know they're too busy helping other people rather than themselves. Yeah, you need to say no to more people. That, that's what I'm getting here. Um, yeah, take, take some time out for yourself. Um, do things for yourself. Instead of being a helper, help yourself. That, that's what I'm getting. And, and if you do that, if you give that love to yourself that you're giving to other people right now, um, you'll feel a lot more confident because I'm getting a little bit of a lack of confidence. You know, you're the one that bolsters everyone up. This is what I'm getting. Um, and you need to bolster yourself up. Um, I'll just show you this. If, if you look across the top row here, this is a really beautiful sequence. You've got this um, Knight of Cups here. And, you know, obviously he's holding this cup of love. And it looks like he's walking into, or riding into, I should say, riding into this... Um, the six of wands here and so if you give yourself that cup of love if you give that back to yourself you'll ride into the confidence which is what the six of wands is you'll feel more confident and you know that's victory as well so you'll be able to achieve more of your own goals if you if instead of giving love to people you can give it back to yourself that's what i'm getting and also he's walking away from this woman in the two of swords here and she's saying no She's got this big cross in front of her body. So that's what you've got to do. You've got to say no. You've got to say no more to people. I'm not saying neglect people and be horrible. I'm just saying it's time for you to focus more on yourself now. You've got goals you want to achieve. You've got to take care of yourself. You've got to nurture yourself. You've got to get sleep. So really, really take care of yourself. So I really, really hope someone gets to hear that or the right person gets to hear that, I should say. Um... All right, so I'm getting someone here just looking at this Two of Swords again. Um, yeah, you've already said no to someone here. <laughs> so I've got an X here. Now, there's a lot of ambiguity. So, so what I mean by that is second-guessing yourself. You, it, it's 
very, very difficult situation. You didn't know where you were with them. You're very unsure. I think when you ask them, you're made to feel a bit needy. It's like, where are we in this relationship? You know, what's happening here? Where, you know, so one minute you're here, next minute you're not here. What's happening? I need to ask you this question. I need to ask you this. And then they were like, well, why are you asking me this? You know, they were very defensive and all that. And I think, I think you knew something wasn't quite right. I think you knew they were hiding something from you. And, you know, I think now you've moved away from that, but I think you're still second guessing yourself a bit. You're still questioning a lot of what went on in that relationship. And if you are still doing that, don't do that. Because I think your instincts were right. I think you are right that something was going on with them. They were hiding something from you. Um, and you didn't know that at the time, but it doesn't matter whether you've got evidence or not. Um, if you know, you know. And so I think you are right to move on from that. If you've done that, if you haven't moved on, I, I think you have, I'm seeing that you have. Um, but say if you haven't, I'm not sure where, you could be anywhere with this right now. Um, move on from that. Don't question yourself anymore. Don't be in this situation when you're continually questioning yourself and second guessing yourself and being unsure of yourself. That's what's taking your confidence away as well. If you've gotten away from this now, um, you need to build that confidence up again for yourself as well. And that's why you've got to give back to yourself. Um, so just with, the, with this Hierophant down here, the Hierophant, is, it's a symbol of respect actually. And you know, he's got these two monks bowing down in front of him and, and bowing is the ultimate show of respect. You know, we bow down to royalty. Well, some people don't, but you know, that it's, it's the ultimate show of respect to someone. So if you've left this person who was, who was making you second guess yourself all the time and question yourself all the time, you've gotten your respect back. That, that's what that's telling you. And if you haven't quite gotten away from this, you might be physically away, but you might still be second guessing yourself and wondering about this past relationship and you might still be in it emotionally or mentally. What that's telling you is move on from that, move up above, put yourself up on this um, throne, like this um, Hierophant, know who you are, you deserve this crown like this Hierophant, move on and you'll get that respect back for yourself. So I, I think that's what that's telling you there. Now, yeah, some, something's going to come out. So you're second, you were second guessing yourself, this is what I'm getting, and you had these questions for them, but they wouldn't answer you. And you knew something was wrong. You knew they were hiding something. That's kind of what I'm getting there. It's going to come out because you've got justice in the middle here. And the justice card, obviously that's about finding out evidence. It's about knowing the truth. It's about, you know, all that kind of thing. And there's this carton behind this woman in the justice card. And you can't see what's behind there now, but it's going to come down it's going to be revealed to you. So something's going to be revealed, you're going to find out what this is. And, and I have to be honest, when, when you find this out, um, I think it might become, because I'm seeing something visual, so it might come in the form of a picture, might be something on social media, I don't know, but I am seeing something visual here. Um, but, but yeah, when, when you see this, it, it's not going to feel good, I have to say. Of course it's not, because it's going to bring you back there. Um, but I, I think, when you look back on this, you'll realize that it was the right thing for you to see this. Because it's like, okay, I've got the evidence now. I've got closure now. I know exactly what happened. I'm not questioning myself anymore. And when you stop questioning everything, um, that's when you'll totally be able to move on if you haven't done that already. So that's kind of what I'm getting now. Um, okay, so yeah, there's something beautiful here. Very beautiful, but difficult. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting strong love here, but I'm getting a, a bit of frustration as well. Um, yeah, okay, I'm just looking at the sequence between the Justice card and the Hierophant down here. And you can see they're very, very similar. And I don't often get these two like this, one above the other like that. And I don't normally see how similar they are, but they're very similar. You know, you've got these two very powerful, very strong, um, you know, red figures right in the middle there. They're both wearing crowns both very majestic, both both very important. And, um, you know, you've got these two pillars on each side of both of these. So I think the pillars
pillars in both of these cards are representing you and this person. There's very, very strong love between you and, and there are passionate feelings between you because both these figures are red. But I, I think you're separated right now because the pillars are separated. You can see in both those cards they are. So that, I, I think that might be where some of this frustration is. Um, so yeah, before I go on with this, I just want to say this. This has nothing to do with this axe. They're long gone. This is someone, well, I don't know if they are, hopefully they are. Um, this is someone that's around you now, if this is resonating with you. Um, you. They're around your energy now. You have feelings for them. You really do. I can see that. But they're separated from you right now. There is love between you now, if that's you. So what I'm getting with them is it's, it's frustrating you because I'm seeing them starting to come a little bit close to you and then they move away again and they start to come close and then they pull away again. That, that's what I'm getting. Very, very, very frustrating. It, it's so, I've been in that frost, in that situation before with someone, it's extremely frustrating. And you want to walk away, but you've got feelings you, and the feelings stop you. So, okay, what I'm getting here is there's a reason why they're doing this. And I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying they're doing the right thing by doing this because it's frustrating you. I could see that if that's you. So there's some kind of past situation around this love connection um, and it's still kind of lurking around them. I think it might be something like, you know, maybe they're going through a separation, maybe they're going through a divorce or something like that because you've got both these cards here again. They're both about marriage and obviously justice can be about, you know, legal proceedings, uh, separations, divorce, things like that. So it might be something like that. And... Um, yeah, what's happening is this situation that's lurking around them, whatever this problem is in their past, it's in between you. It's in between the two pillars. So it's stopping you from getting together. And it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be stopping you from getting together. But in their mind, this is what I think is happening is they're trying to get this situation out of the way before they come close to you. They're a very neat person in their mind. What, what I mean by that is they're trying to compartmentalize things. So they're trying to get that out of the way before they come close to you. And, and I think what happens is they think they're kind of almost there. They're, they're going along in this thing. And if it's a legal thing, these kinds of things can go backwards and forwards. It's very frustrating. So they get to a certain point in this situation, whatever it is, and they think, oh, I'm getting to the end of this, or I can see a clear path in front of me. I'll move toward Virgo person because I really do have feelings for them. And then they'll get some problem that happens and then they feel like, oh, I'm not ready yet. I have to go back again. So if, if that's you, I think that might be what's happening with this person. Very, very frustrating. Again, I don't think it's right. I really think they should be opened and tell you what's happening. But that's kind of what I'm seeing there. So what, what I can tell you is they have really, really, really strong feelings for you. Uh, probably a lot stronger than you realize or a lot stronger than you're imagining because you know if, if someone's going backwards and forwards like that of course you're going to think well I, I don't know that if they're interested I don't think they are and also with your past you've had to second guess yourself so you're kind of thinking well I don't want to go through this again I don't want to be second guessing myself again it's, it's driving me crazy but I've got feelings for this person so what do I do so you're kind of stuck in this now this could absolutely 100% develop into something very, very special. Again, you've got these two marriage cards there. Justice and the Hierophant can be marriage. You've got lots of red, you've got lots of passion here. So this could be very, very, very promising. But what's really frustrating me here is, and I'm getting really angry actually, <laughs> is they're not coming out and talking to you. They're not saying, this is why I, I can't be with you properly, or this is why I feel like this, or this is why I'm going backwards and forwards. Um, okay, so I'll move on to the present because it's really, I'm getting really angry actually. <laughs> okay, so, and if I'm feeling like that, and if you're in this situation, it must be a million times worse for you, I have to say. So I'm very sorry if you're going through something like this. Um, okay, so the first card you've got for your present is the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so here they are. This is them. This is this person. Now, you know, and I think this is how you see them actually. So this, this is like the classic knight in shining armor. Not that you think they're like that. You don't think they're all perfect and storybook and you know, you're realistic, you're not like that. 
But the thing about them is, you know, they're all neat and orderly, so they're trying to get their life in order. And if you look at this knight, you know, he's perfectly groomed, he's, his armor's all shiny, he looks all perfect, and that's what they're like. They want to get this part of their life over with and finished with before they come to you. And this is what I'm seeing again, same situation again. You can see this here. So he's coming forward with his cup. So they want to come forward to you. Um, and he's coming up to this lake here. So that's where the emotion is. The water is emotion. So they do have a lot of feelings for you, but every time they try and come close to you, they see their past and they see all the problems and everything they have to deal with, which is this big mountain you can just see in the bottom right hand corner that's facing him. So they see this big mountain and they go, oh no, I'm not ready yet. I've got still got this big mountain. I have to go back now. So I think that's what's happening again. Same thing, big obstacle in front of them. But they are going to come forward at some time. This is another thing that's frustrating me actually. They're going to come forward. They're going to tell you, this is a message of love here. That, that's what this is about. But it's all hinging on whether, well, two things really. It's hinging on whether they're going to open up properly and tell you. Because the last thing you want again is to be guessing, playing guessing games. You want to know what's going on. So the first thing they've got to do is, if they come across with this message of love, and they are going to at some time, they've got to be totally open with you if they're going to do that. The other thing, is either you've got to be willing to wait for them, which I'm getting very frustrated even thinking about that, or you've got to come forward to them and say, right, we've got to have it open, we've got to have a talk, we have to sort this out. What is going on with you? I think if you did that, they might be open, but at the moment, all I can see here is they're coming to you at some time, and with this empress that's down here, I'll just go on with that now. I don't want to tell you to wait because it's frustrating me even thinking about this, but I think the message in the empress is, if you are willing to be patient and wait and sit there like this empress, they are going to eventually come to you. So this is telling you to um, you know, be patient, wait for them, and then they will eventually come to you. Um, but, and there's, again, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love here between you. I can see that. Very, very, very powerful love. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in two minds here because I've got the frustrating side <laughs> and then I've got this beautiful love that I can feel here that can happen if all of this comes together at the right time. Again, they need to be open. You need to either come forward to them or be willing to wait for the right time to happen. Um, okay. Yeah, I, all right, so, okay, there's something else here. Um, all right, I'm just looking at this Empress and this Five of Cups together. Okay, th this, is, this is really specific here. So this is for someone. I just wanted to talk to someone about this because someone's feeling a loss and someone's feeling a little bit of guilt here. So, okay, so I'm getting a loss. I'm getting a loss around a group. Now, it might be a family group, it might be a group of friends. It feels like someone's had a loss in this group. So someone might have left, or it might even be that someone's passed on and they're not in this world anymore. Because there is, it does look like grief here. It really does. Um, so it might not be, but that's kind of what it looks like here. So um, th there's, this, there's this group here and it feels like they're feeling this loss. You're feeling this loss as well, if this is you. For some reason, you can't get close to this group. Um, and, and what I've got is this real feeling of, oh, I just want to be near them. I just want to comfort them. Um, I, I want to be like the Empress. I want to nurture them. I want to comfort these people because I love them. I, I feel their grief. They feel mine as well. But at the moment, I, I can't get close to them. And so you both need that comfort. You need that from them. They need that from you. But for some reason, you, you can't get close to this group of people. That, that's what I'm getting. So, you know, it might be because of what's happening in the world right now, because a, a lot of people are separated because of what's happening. Families are separated. Um, obviously, that depends on where you are in the world, but that's happening a lot here. So, um, okay, so I, ju I just want to say this. If this is you, if you feel guilty about not being able to be around these people right now, don't, don't feel like that, because 
the people that care about you in this group, they understand. They understand that it's not possible for you to do that. Um, and feeling guilt on top of grief or on top of sadness, it it's just adds more to you and you really don't need that if you're feeling like this. Um, and the other thing I'm, I'm seeing here is, um, there's this bridge here, you can see that here, there's this beautiful bridge in this card. And what that's showing me is, you will get together with these people again and you will be able to really talk freely, hug them, all the things that a lot of people are missing right now at this time, it's really sad. Um, but you will be able to get close to them again and you will be able to talk to them, you will be able to hug them. You'll feel that closeness that you're really missing with these people now and you know that I think for you just just try and um, if this is you just try and talk to them if you can try and message them as much as you can try and talk to them on the phone as much. I know it's not the same but at least that'll help for now and I am seeing that you are going to get together with them at some time but the big thing I'm getting here is don't feel guilty if you're feeling like that because it, it's not helping you it, it's not helping you and it's not helping anyone feeling that way the people who you care about and who care about you understand that it's not possible for you to be there if that's you. Um, okay, so the first card you've got for your future is the Six of Wands, which is a fantastic card. Victory card, success, confidence, all that. Um, okay, so I'm just looking down this whole row here. Right, this is something completely different. There's a little bit of a warning here. Um, it's a big warning, actually. Yeah, it feels like someone's got the wrong idea about something or they've taken something the wrong way or they've gotten the wrong idea about you, I think. Uh, there's a bit of jealousy there. It might be underpinning this. So if someone's jealous about of you, you know, they might be looking for things to be angry with. Sometimes people do that because I'm getting that kind of energy here. So yeah, just, just watch out. If, you, if you're on social media, um, I'm getting something coming up there that... Um, it might be about you, or it might be something to do with you, um, and it's not true. Let I'll just tell you that, it's not true. Whatever they're saying is not true. I can see that really clearly. It's not correct. Now, it may this might have already come out. You might already be dealing with this, the fallout of this, I don't know. Or it might be that it hasn't happened yet, if this is resonating with you, if you know who this jealous person is. So. Yeah, the first thing I'm getting is it's not true, it's not correct. You know that, obviously. Um, but a lot of people who read this or see this, they're going to know it's not true. And I feel like I need to tell you this, because I think what's going to happen is people are going to see this, and um, there are a lot of people that aren't going to say anything. They're going to kind of sit in silence. And, and I think that might hurt you a bit. You might be thinking, well, why aren't people standing up for me? Why aren't they saying anything? Um, so I just want you to know that just because they're silent doesn't mean they agree with this. They, they don't agree with this. I can see that really, really clearly. Because if you look at this page of swords here, you know, he's thrashing his sword around, he's really angry, um, he's unhappy. This is obviously this really jealous person. And, and they look very, very volatile. And I think people just want to stay away from them, really. I would too if I were them. <laughs> so, and I, and I think the message here is for you as well, is for you to kind of do the same. Stay away from them, don't bite, don't, um, you know, don't give in to the drama, don't talk to them, it'll just escalate, you'll make more drama. So I think that's what the message there is. And also, you know, you've got the Six of Wands up above this card, up above this page. So, um, you know, he's, he's literally, up on his high horse, so he's rising above um, this page. So that's what the message there is. Rise above that, don't say anything, there's no point, you don't need the drama. And anyone who looks at this, they're not going to believe that, they're really not. And I think, I think the fact that they're saying these things, that's going to speak for itself. And I think people are going to see that and they're going to say, well, that says more about them. Virgo person saying nothing, they're very silent, they're dignified, this other person's thrashing around. So yeah, that's what I'm getting there. So if that's already happened to you, um, just know that people don't believe that. And I think you know that if it's already happened. Um, if it does happen, I think that's the message. That's how you've got to deal with that, um, if that's you. Um, so, okay, so, right. So I'm looking at this 
beautiful, beautiful strength card down here. I'm just going to lift it up for you. There's so much love in this card. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is how this person feels about you. They have these very, very, very strong feelings for you. They want victory with you. They want to come close to you. They want what's on this card with you. This is the most beautiful card ever for love. You know, they want to nurture you. They want to take care of you. They want to be with you forever. Look at this infinity symbol that's above this woman's head. But if they're going to do that, <laughs> this is what's frustrating me as well. If they're going to do that, they better hurry up and tell you because they might miss the boat. They really might. Um, yeah, it, it, again, same situation here. Um, you know, you, you've got, okay, so this is, again, this is what's stopping them. I'll move that down again to show you. What's stopping them from love and what's stopping them from this victory with you in the victory card is that this page is right in the middle with this sword. And what they feel is they feel that they're fighting off their past. They're fighting that off. They have to get rid of that before they can come close to you. But for you, that's not the case. That's not the case. You'd love them anyway. You really would. All you want is for them to come and talk to you and be honest with you. So again, they better hurry up and talk to you. That's all I could say. Or they might miss the boat. Or it might be that you have to come forward and talk to them. They are going to come and talk to you anyway. I'm 100% sure of that. I can see that everywhere here with this Knight of Cups here. But because they've got this situation behind them, they're really, really taking their time. And who knows how long this is going to drag on for, especially if this is a legal case with this Justice card here. I don't know, it might be that. It might be that you have to come forward to them um, yeah, so I, I, I really wish I could tell you a, a straightforward answer here. I really can't see one. I'm sorry about that, but I'm not going to make up things if I can't see them. That's just the situation as I can see it there. So my apologies about that. Um, so yeah, Virgo, um, I won't say I hope this resonated because it was very, very frustrating, but, um, yeah, obviously this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you for watching.